Detroit Pistons start DeLon Wright at the shooting guard position? Now, this question is being posed by one of y'all in a comment section. I'm about to read it off. Um, it's from a guy named Zachary Smith. Shout out to you. I'm about to read this comment, and we're about to talk about this. So, it comes from Zachary Smith, and he says, Love your videos. Thank you, man. I'm wondering about something nobody seems to be talking about on Pistons channels. How come nobody's slanting DeLon Wright to start at shooting guard? We'll see. I'm going to talk about it in a minute. Sure, he's listed at point guard, but the majority of his minutes the last three seasons have come at shooting guard. And he's a combo guard whose skill set is best aligned with playing shooting guard anyways. Just curious. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. That's a very... That's a very kind comment. You didn't have to write that, and you did. So thank you, man. So um, as far as what you were talking about, DeLon Wright starting at shooting guard, him being a combo guard, him being listed at shooting like point guard, but plays the shooting guard as well. Um, DeLon Wright. So I, I know about DeLon Wright, formerly a member of the Dallas Mavericks, and, and for the past couple of seasons, DeLon Wright has actually, like, if you look at basketball reference, it's switched sometimes between point guard and shooting guard, and they mix up his, his listings, and especially with Luka being there, they switch it around all the time, so so he could play shooting guard. And the question for y'all, and this is another one of those interactive videos where I want to hear from y'all. Do y'all believe that we should start him at shooting guard? Because we got Speed Makai Luke, we got Roddy Magruder, we got uh, Wayne Ellington, you know, we got a lot of guys at the shooting guard position who may or may not make it past preseason or training camp. And we also have a lot of guys at the point guard position who may or may not be there. So we can mismatch things here, we can mismatch things there. For me, it comes down to, you know, who's gonna be on the final roster, who's gonna make the final cut? Because if, if this guy's like, if if we end up for some reason waving Ellington or Sfi, I'm not willing to start Musa at the shooting guard position. So in a scenario like that, yes, I would want the line right to start at the shooting guard position but also if we keep guys like wayne ellington and and makai luke if they make the final cut then i wouldn't want the line right starting at shooting guard i want him at point but then again who's keep who are we keeping at the point guard position who's making that final cut it's just a lot of mismatching a lot of here and there we just don't know you know right now as pistons fans until we get into training camp and preseason who's going to be on the final cut and we, we just don't know right now so this is again one of those interactive videos where i want to talk to y'all because i respond to most of the comments i get like 90 80 percent of them i want to talk to y'all in the comment section let me know what y'all feel about the line right should we start should, should we start the line right at the shooting guard position or should we keep him at the point guard position behind derrick rose and killian hayes what should we do with him because you know he is a little bit too valued to be sitting behind derrick rose and killian hayes and and you know he could be useful and if we use him at the shooting guard position he will be useful so just let me know what y'all think in the comment section below thank you all for 700 subscribers like this video comment on this video share this video i'm out